Good afternoon, YouTube. What we're going to do today is we're going to be melting down and refining some silver, be it silver money clips, stuff from estate sales, old 40 or 90% silver coins. Uh, what you're going to need is some kind of glass container that uh, holds a significant amount of liquid. Uh, I just bought a cheap little coffee pot replacement at Walmart for, I don't know, six or seven dollars, and a nine by nine cake pan, coffee filters, a funnel, nitric acid, that's the hard, the hardest part to uh, get for this whole thing, and you can find it online at a chemistry supply store. 68 to 71 percent is generally what you're going to find. However, you can distill your own at a higher percentage if you so choose. You're going to need a spray bottle and this is a copper bus bar. You can get them on eBay or you can make one. Otherwise, you can use some old scrap copper pipe that's cut open or some thick copper wire. You need some non-metallic way to stir it, either with plastic, glass, graphite, or wood. And you need a heat source. So yeah, the coins that are in here, they're pretty worn, and some of them have no dates. So, you know, constitutional currency. However, we're going to get the silver out of it. And one other thing I forgot to mention is you do need about a gallon of distilled water. So the first step, and I've already got it going here, but you're going to add about 100 milliliters of distilled water and then you're going to put your silver in there that you want to dissolve. Then you will add a small amount of nitric acid to start the reaction. Once you start seeing the gas form, which is nitrogen dioxide, it's deadly, it's poisonous, so make sure you're doing it outside like I'm, I'm doing or in a fume hood, a controlled environment. So you can see how it's starting to react and dissolve the silver there. And you wanna just let it do its thing until it stops reacting. Make sure you have some heat on it, medium heat. Once it stops reacting, then you can add a slight amount, maybe 50 or 100 milliliters more of nitric acid. Do it slowly because the reaction is delayed and it can boil over. And then that's why you have this pan to catch it just in case. However, you want to continue doing that until all of the silver at the bottom is dissolved. So you want to occasionally stir it with a non-metallic stirrer, so like graphite, wood, uh, plastic, something like that, glass. And now we're going to put it on kind of a medium to low heat to help the reaction. We've added a little bit more nitric acid. I'm at about 250 milliliters there. Still going. So this is nitrogen dioxide being produced in this reaction. You can see how it's working there under heat. Still have a little ways to go. The reaction has been completed. You can see that just steam coming out now. So we've still got the heat on. And so on to the next step. Next step, what you're gonna do is get your funnel and coffee filter and start to wet it down with distilled water. Make sure that everything is in there. And then you're going to pour your solution. I'm gonna give it time to cool here. Turn the heat off. Still a little bit reacting there. But turn the heat off, let it cool. Pour it into here and your silver nitrate solution will be at the bottom. And that's what we're gonna use with the next step. If you have a, an excess of silver that's in here, save it for your next batch uh, because there, there may be some undissolved silver if you consumed, if you let the silver nitrate, or I'm sorry, if you let the nitric acid consume all of the silver and there's still some acid left over, then your all of your silver would be gone here. 
in my case, there's a couple little pieces sitting at the bottom, which further tells me that the nitric acid has all been consumed, but there's still remaining silver. So you can see that there's still a little bit of brown gas remaining here. So I'm going to actually leave it for a little bit longer before I let it cool off. And then we will start filtering here. Another thing you may want to do is add a little bit more distilled water to this solution just to further dilute it. Filtering the silver nitrate solution. That's where our silver is that will precipitate in a bit. So it starts to slow down, take a while as it gets filled up. And what you'll want to do is this coffee filter you want to save it for your next batch because there still will be a little bit of undissolved silver in there and there's some value so don't throw that away still got more to filter here it's still taking a while but once this is done what you're going to do is you're going to take your copper either your pipe your wire or your bus bar which is what I'm going to use and you're going to stick it in here and you're going to let it sit overnight uh, preferably 24 hours okay, so what I did is I cleaned the container and I put the filtered solution back in here and I've still got some more filtering once that's done what you're going to do is get your copper and in this case this is a copper bus bar that I have and you can see it's been used before and you're going to either put your copper pipe that has been opened or a thick copper wire significant amount you can roll it into a coil something like that to have a lot of surface area and you're going to go and put it in the solution here if this is where if you have excessive nitric acid remaining you're going to consume a whole lot of copper and it's not necessary and so when you do this it'll happen very quickly and I'll go ahead and start it here and you can kind of watch but you can see just immediately the silver starts to come out of the solution so the longer it sits here the longer it sits here the more silver will be attracted to it and so what you'll want to do See that? After it's been sitting for a few hours, put it, uh, stir it, and put it right back. Shake the shake the silver off of the copper, and you want to keep doing that until no more silver attaches to the copper. So here's what it's going to look like after it's done. It should it should be like a big mush at the bottom. So you can look in the bottom there. And you can see the silver coming out of solution. So here, after sitting about six hours, you can see that the precipitate, there's quite a bit of it. Let's get it stirred up again. We'll let it sit overnight. This is what was left from the filter. There's more silver there, so we'll use it the next in the next batch for dissolving. After letting the silver precipitate and drop out of solution, swap ions with the copper. There was still an excess of nitric acid, as you can tell by how it's eaten away at the bus bar here. So there's a little bit of a, a silver still left on there. I'll rinse that off and we'll put it in the solution. But what you'll see on the bottom is a whole lot of silver. And so what we're going to do next, going to get another coffee filter and we're going to filter that out. So the solution that is going to be dropping through, you can put that in your waste bucket and we'll talk about that later.
So we'll let that start to filter. And as you get towards the end, it's gonna filter much slower. And what we're after is going to stay in the filter. And that's what we're going to dry and prepare for melting. So as it it starts to really slow down, you can see that it's it's still filtering. It's just taken taken a while. And so here's some of the silver. There's more that's in there, and we're gonna make sure all of this goes into that filter. Another thing that helps, so you can use you a spray bottle full of distilled water. Spray it in there to help get some of that silver out. You want to get everything out of that container as much as possible. Try to get it into the filter. So as you start to filter this, you're going to continue to do so until the water that's coming through the filter is clear. So you're basically rinsing the silver. And you want to make sure all the excess copper, nitric acid, any other metals, anything is out of there except for what is in the filter. So this, uh, this typically will take a few hours to do depending on how much you have. And it's, it's very slow going. So fill it up full of distilled water, go do something, come back in 10 or 15 minutes and check it again. And you can see this is my, my excess that I have from previous uh, batches that I've done. So this is like a two and a half gallon container. And so what I, what I do with that, I'll show you. So I have a, another bus bar that I just leave in there and it'll precipitate, you know, there's even like a trace amount of silver on there and it'll be at the bottom. And so at a future date, I can decide to run that batch again and see if I can get any more silver out of it. You know, it's not, not worth throwing away yet. So we'll go through it. It's not worth, it's also not worth trying to precipitate the copper and bring it out of solution either, because you, you need a, quite a bit of other chemicals to do it and the cost doesn't quite offset what you're going to get back in copper. And as it starts filtering, you can see how there's nearly no blue color left. So we know we've got a good wash, a good rinse here. So now that we've got the filtered silver, what we're going to do is take this out, put it in a clean pan that we can use to dry it. So we'll make sure we rinse this out. And what you're going to do here is either dry it in an oven or cook it on a stove until it's a very fine powder. That's what we're going to do now. So out of, out of habit, I like to rinse these filters really well. But I'm going to also keep it because there is still a little bit of silver in here. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep it for the next batch. So I will put it in with the other stuff there to, to dissolve with the next batch. Right now we are going to go ahead and turn the heat up a little bit more on this little hot plate. And try to break up some of the chunks. It's quite cold out here. I'm doing this outside. Uh, it's below I'm quite cold. Going to make sure we can do this quickly. So all you're really doing at this point is you're just eliminating the moisture and however you want to do it. So this is this has worked well for me. This is just a cheap I don't know 8 or 10 dollar hot plate from Walmart in a 4 dollar nine by nine cake pan that I use specifically just for drying silver. This is about 
10 minutes later, still going. I had a whole lot of water in there from rinsing out the funnel that I left in. That's why it's taken a little longer. Normally this process uh, should take 20 minutes or less total. Have most of the moisture, most of the liquid boiled off. Just got to get the moisture out of the silver here. So do you see steam coming off? There's still moisture. So we'll keep going a little longer. We're getting close here. So here is our fine silver three nines, hopefully, silver. So I've got it dried out and I'm going to put it in a paper bowl to let it sit overnight, draw out any additional moisture. And tomorrow we will put it in the furnace and make some silver bars and then we'll test it. All right, we're going to go ahead and start loading the silver into the crucible here. Yeah. You're going to hear my African gray parrot in the background. She likes to talk when I make videos. So we're going to go ahead and got a funnel that I've cut open and going to Are you good? So I'm gonna probably load about one at a time. That fills, this is a two kilogram crucible and it fills it up about halfway. So I think we'll do there. This is a little borax just to get any little fine impurities out. Just put just a smidge of that in there. And when we're done, we should have a couple of bars. This is copper, but should look something like that. So let's get to it. Let's fire the furnace up. We have the silver beginning to heat up. So I'm gonna let it sit here for about 30 minutes while this electric furnace heats up. And then we will get to town here. making sure to preheat our mold. There's in <clears throat> inside getting really close. These are five ounce bars, so looks like got five ounces and a little bit. So my other two batches, I think I'll just end up combining them all into one as it melts down. So after we're done with that, I have a tray full of ice. And we will quench it. Again, you're gonna to have to put up with my bird. Yeah. But so let's see what? how many grams, how many ounces we have here. Here's the other the other pieces. So 198 grams or seven ounces. And could be plus or minus a, a little bit. Okay, the mold has been preheated. I'm gonna go for our next batch here. Let's see how we do.
and I almost forgot about testing this. So we're going to put it on the Sigma here and calibrate it. Gonna try 99%, 99.9, so that's three nines. We'll try that first and see what happens here. So it's gonna put some brackets here. There we go. It's within the brackets. So we have 99% pure silver. Let's try this one. So it's just outside. Uh, maybe I'm just, uh, there we go. I said I wasn't quite square to it. And that one right in the middle. So that's three nines. Let's try four nines and see. I, I highly doubt it because we'll normally have to do electrolysis to get something that pure. So that would be one further step, but this is this is pretty sufficient. Ooh, it's pretty close. Ooh, almost. It's it's just outside of it, so we're not quite at four nines. That one's not quite as much. And who that one's outside. So oh oh almost there, maybe. Somewhere. I saw it in ha. Oh. There we go. There's there's at least a small portion that is four nines fine of that bar. Let's flip them over. Try the other side here. Let's see what we look like. Not not quite. Oh, maybe that one. Yep, we got a little little portion there, four nines, fine silver. There you go. That's the com the complete process from bare raw silver to refined, poured, and ready to stack on your shelf or do whatever you want with. So thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to this channel and comment below and let me know what you like, what you don't like, if you want to see more. Thank you again.